Thank you for joining me in today's Animal First Aid Lesson 4, Bandaging Techniques, presented by Maureen Ring, 4-H Animal Science Educator with Cornell Cooperative Extension of St. Lawrence County and 4-H. Please remember that at-home first aid does not replace professional veterinary care. If a pet is injured, sick, or has ingested something suspicious, contact a veterinarian immediately. First aid care may help to save a pet's life, but often requires additional veterinary treatment. When to take a pet to the veterinarian. These types of injuries should be treated by a veterinarian and not at home. Any injury that fully penetrates the skin, such as a bite wound or deep laceration or a fracture, any injury that involves a large portion of the body or an especially sensitive area, any injury where pus is visible or the skin around your pet's wound is red and puffy. Reasons to apply a bandage. To protect wounds from the environment, to discourage a pet from licking or irritating a wound, bandages may be applied as support for strains or sprains or to prevent motion. Cleaning wounds. The process of bandaging begins with careful cleaning of the wound. All dried blood, Dirt and debris should be washed away using lots of water or saline. Fur should be clipped away so it does not enter into the wound. If possible, the area should be patted dry. Steps for cleaning and treating wounds. If the animal is small, place them on a table or counter in front of you. For larger animals, get down on the ground with them. Have a second person gently restrain the pet and use a muzzle if necessary. Clip any fur around the area if the wound is covered by the fur. Use electric clippers to shave the fur. Scissors or a disposable razor can cut the skin. Wash the area with saline or warm water until all visible debris is gone. Then pat dry with a clean dry cloth or paper towel. Apply a non-stinging antiseptic solution such as chlorhexidine or provodyne iodine solution to clean the wound. Do not use chlorhexidine or provodone iodine solution at full strength. They both need to be diluted for safest use. Chlorhexidine is available as both a scrub and a solution. When using it as an antiseptic for your pet's wounds, you want to be sure to use the solution and not the scrub. If the wound worsens at any time, consult a veterinarian. Do not use hydrogen peroxide to clean wounds as it can actually slow healing. Also, do not use soaps, shampoos, rubbing alcohol, herbal preparations, tea tree oil, or any other product to clean an open wound. Some of these products are toxic if taken internally, while others can actually delay healing. How to apply a bandage. Proper application is important. An improperly applied or too tight of a bandage can cause swelling, decreased blood flow, and potential loss of a limb. A key factor to bandage stability is the correct tension on the dressing. You should be able to slip a finger between the finished dressing and the pet's body and feel the finger is being gripped by the dressing. Vet wrap requires special handling. Its elasticity makes it self-tighten once applied. To avoid this, unwind a long enough length to pass around the area to be bandaged. Then, wind this around the area with the bandage in a neutral, non-stretched state. Basics to keep a bandage on a pet. Bandages on pets do not stay on as easily as a person's bandage because an animal's fur and body shape make it difficult to get a bandage to stay on. There are things to help keep the bandage on for as long as possible. Here are a few tips about how to keep bandages on a pet. Make sure the injured area is dry before applying bandage materials. Keep the pet indoors most of the time when wearing a bandage. Take the pet out on a leash to use the bathroom rather than allowing them to run out in the yard unsupervised. 
Take care to keep the bandage dry by covering it with a plastic bag of some type when it is necessary to take the pet outside. Consider putting an Elizabethan collar on the pet if they chew at the bandages. Consult with a veterinarian before making the decision to take this step. Keeping bandages on an animal is no easy task, but it's well worth the effort to make sure they heal properly. Please watch the short video clip on the next slide on how to bandage your pet's paw. If you have any questions about this lesson, please contact Maureen Ring, 4-H Animal Science Educator.